Happy Sunday, YouTube sisters. Hope everyone is doing well today. So today what I am going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and um, get this five shelf bookcase all together, but I'm adding a little twist to it. Um, I honestly do not like the backboard that comes with it to kind of hold it and support it. I don't like it at all. So what I did is that we had a laminate wood flooring remaining um, in our from our previous house. And this is what I did. I painted it white with a little turquoise um, and just kind of whitewash it a little bit. And then I put these little stencils here, this little design. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this for the back part of my shelf to kind of hold it sturdy. And then I painted these like in a cream, these boards here. I have um, six. Let's see, two, four, five, six, yes. So I painted the boards and I painted them and then I just wiped it down with a t-shirt. And then I went over again and I painted it with a little turquoise, uh, with a little cream, and then um, I wiped it with the t-shirt. I did not paint the back, only because this is gonna be the back part of the shelf. So now the, the, what I have to try to figure out is the layout of it. So pretty much what I'm wanting to do is put a floor plank there, a wooden um, laminated foot plank, and then a board, and then the another floor plank and a board. But here, because this, this is the top part of the shelf, and this is the bottom part of the shelf, and because that pattern will not this pattern here will not necessarily go with that uh, on that side so this is going to be the bottom part of the shelf so let me go ahead and put it all together and let's see what it comes out like um please stay tuned so this is the outcome so what i did was that i um Pretty much just placed the um, plank, the floor planks on the back along with the board. And it kind of gives it an old effect look. And I did just paint a little bit here on the sides, not necessarily on the shelves. But I think it looks pretty good. What I am going to do is that I will be covering the shelves with this particular fabric only because I don't want it to look so um, for little girls. It's gonna be for my crafts and my books. Um, you know, we as parents have revolving doors and our children always come back <laughs> somehow or another, right? So what I am going to do is that I have a couple of these jars like this. Um, I will go ahead and I do have some other containers. I probably will not be using those, but I'm not quite sure yet. I do have a couple of these jars here that I really want to use because I have a big, I have two beautiful floral, um, frames that I will be using as a headboard for our bed because, um, where this shelf will be going, there's a pit, the floor frame is there. So I will be removing it um, and so that I can place this shelf there. What I will be doing is I'll be using the decoupage here. I might even use the um, double stick tape just in case I want to remove it and it's easier to remove that way. And I think, as a matter of fact, that's what I will be doing. Um, and let's just see what it turns out to be like. So please stay tuned. Just remember guys, I am not computer savvy. So I'm pretty much using my phone for this. So please hold, um, I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, friends. Whew, I am done. I am finally done. The only reason I know that it might look a little odd to have this fabric here, but let me explain to you why I put that black fabric. Not only 
does it make it look more of an adult look because i really did not want the shelf to look like a little girl's shelf or for a little girl's room um also my vanity that i do have is black and silver so i just wanted to have that and it would also bring it out some more um the color and the shelving so let me just get up close again so that you can see what i did i painted this uh stencil i have this stencil here so i painted and this here this board here is a floor plank that i had um we had remaining from our previous house and then here this is just like a one by a quarter inch it's like a really small piece of wood here um and i used it here so that's what i did so i kind of like try to figure out what would make it look good and i did scratch it here a little bit but you know what it doesn't matter because I want it to look more like a rustic look and you can see here where the planks are not completely met with the board but that's the type of look that I was looking for anyway or what I was going for anyway so this is the shelf that I bought year about a year ago and I'm just now putting it up so you know that these shelves come with a cardboard backing they are not very support, um, they don't support the shelving that great. Um, and actually now it's like if I try to move it, it doesn't move guys. I can try to move it back and forth, sway it, and it will not do that. So the shelf overall came out wonderful. I am very pleased with the outcome. Um, and yeah, so let me show you the back, what it looks like. Um, it's nothing fancy. Sorry about the mess. As you can see, see how the backing is. I'm not worried so much about what the back looks like. Only because, and I did paint the sides a little bit with whatever paint I had remaining left on my brush. And that's what I did so that it won't be so white. Um, yes, I didn't paint these here, but I did paint this here a little bit. See how I did the sides there. So yeah, um, I will have some orange, some pink, and some turquoise a little bit, and I will have some black containers there as well. So I will show you my finished product, um, hopefully sometime in a little bit. Please hold. Um, again, if my battery is running low, so if I do not show you the end product, I will show you the end product with the supplies and, and all that good stuff um, when I show you my Target, my 99 cent, my Dollar Tree haul video. I am so pleased with the way this came out. Um, the fabric is from Hancock Fabric Store. The, they are going out of business. And so I bought it for like $9 a yard. Um, so hope you like it and hope I inspired you somehow to be creative today and something so small that's not so good quality, you can turn it out to be, um, to turn out beautiful just based on what your likings are. Hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, my friends. Um, God bless.